Welcome back to my channel. This is where I talk about music production, gear, and uh, different things that interests me, often nerdy things. This is uh, going to be a quick video. I'm going to talk about the finalized version of Diva from Yuhi. Diva is a soft synth I use in almost all of my tracks. I really like the sound of it. I really like the quality. It's a uh, synthesizer that is quite heavy on the CPU so your computer needs to have some power if you're going to run a few of those. I mostly produce on my desktop PC so that works fine. I don't really use that many tracks. I wanted to try it out now on the M1 MacBook Pro since the finalized version have support for the new architecture from Apple and uh, it's been in a beta version for quite some time but now a version released by Yuhi is uh, finalized and it should work with uh, the newest uh, hardware from uh, Apple. So I have loaded it up on uh, my Logic Pro session over here. So it's uh, version 1.4.5 and I'm going to import some MIDI files and we are just going to see how many tracks we can uh, uh, play on this uh, laptop. So here we are. I wasn't able to get the screen recording software working correctly. It used too much of the computer's resources so it wouldn't give a, a true sense of uh, how the M1 Mac would perform. So I decided to use my camera and uh, just film the screen. I know the uh, image quality would and audio quality will be suffering a little bit but I think this will uh, give you the best uh, true kind of uh, uh, test if you will. So I have Diva loaded up here with already six tracks on accuracy over here it sets to it's set to great you can se select draft fast great and divine so uh, divine will use the most CPU draft will use uh, less CPU I keep it on great voices 8 and stack 1 uh, the offline accuracy here is just uh, the quality when you export the track. You have a multi-core button here. I have found that if I have the multi-core button activated, it will actually perform worse compared to having it deactivated. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe it's uh, in the forum somewhere. The multi-core button that is deactivated for this test. On the preset, I use a uh, preset I use in my production. It's called Gorgeous Plux. I think it sounds sounds uh, good. And we have uh, five tracks here with the same settings. We have the performance meter going on over here, and I can show you the Logic Pro settings. The Logic Pro settings are the uh, MacBook Pro uh, speakers is uh, the output device. The uh, buffer size is 512 currently. Processing threads is manually selected to 8. Default is on automatic. This will give you lesser performance, I think, uh, at least in my tests. So uh, I have it on 8 here. You can you can experiment yourself. Everything else is default. The particular Mac here is a uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch M1 CPU 2020 model, 16 gigs of memory. So if I play back this now, you can take a look at the processing threads and maybe if you see something down there, I'm not sure, but. Uh Looks like it's working. So it's using uh, maybe half of the CPU, something like that. Uh, we can try to duplicate, uh, make uh, 12 tracks, uh, I guess. See how that performs. Just copy the MIDI data down and uh, play it back. So this is 12 tracks. So 
So you have to play it uh, back, uh, f well, maybe 30 seconds or something just to kind of get the equilibrium thing going there so you're sure that everything is working. So I, we can uh, add a few more tracks here. Let's start with, uh, let's say 20. That's a nice number. So 20 tracks, see how that works. You notice that the CPU is kind of peaking here. But the system CPU is not that high. So still, this is very good. It's 20 tracks of D.Va. I never used 20 tracks of uh, D.Va. Uh, so this is already... It's already uh, not that bad if you ask me, but we can... Let's add 30 tracks just to see if it even runs. I'm not sure if it will do that. I think that's uh, a lot. Again, this is a CPU hungry uh, oops, synthesizer. So um, we'll see how it performs with 30 tracks. Yeah, 30 tracks was too much uh, with these settings. But again, these settings are not uh, like these are pretty high settings. Let's just increase the buffer size, see if that really, if that helps. Set it to 1024, and we can sit, set the process buffer range to large. See if that does anything. We are producing in the box anyways. Okay, that worked, but I know a lot of you want to see how this works when you have low settings. So let's say 32 here, let's say small buffer range. Okay, so 32, eight threads small. Let's try that and see how many tracks we can do with that. Obviously we won't be able to do 30, but can we do maybe 25? So let's just delete these tracks see if we is able to run 25 divas hmm looks like it So this was 25 diva tracks with buffer size of 32 and a buffer range of small so it's actually it can actually do more maybe two more let's try it out Okay, this is this is kind of strange because 30 tracks it wasn't able to do 30 tracks with 512 here and on medium or I don't remember if I had large and it's now 27 tracks and with the smallest buffer size hmm I don't does this this really let's try add 30 again see how that works is it inconsistent
Okay, I want to make this video as I am experiencing right now. I don't want to kind of uh, edit it and uh, just tell you things that doesn't. So I think this is really strange. So if I, s if I set it to 5, 12 and medium here and apply, we can try again. Okay. So if I set it to 512 medium and uh, eight uh, threads, it does it can't handle it. But if I set it to 32 and small, it works just fine. Isn't that strange? Am I that old? Have I missed something here? Maybe. Yeah, I don't consider myself an expert. I'm just testing it out. Let's add 34 tracks. Okay, system overload. 34 tracks. Let's try 32 then. Delete track. Okay, system overload on 32, so it's it's uh, 30 tracks, okay? Okay, so let's delete 31, let's just have some fun, add uh, a uh, drummer, electronic, open library, uh, yeah, big room, maybe, yeah. So yeah, anyways, 31 tracks or 30 tracks with D.Va using a pretty heavy patch. This patch is not, uh, this is a pretty demanding uh, uh, patch with two oscillators, some detuning and some effects and uh, things like that and uh, vo eight voices. So it's no, uh, it's no easy patch for the uh, synthesizer to play. and. Um, Anyways, I am uh, a little bit confused about this IO buffer size thing here. So if it doesn't seem seem like it's it affects it that much, maybe if someone uh, of you watching this video can uh, explain in the comment field below what you think, you are welcome to do that. Obviously, you can produce music on this MacBook Pro. That's no issue at all. I think this shows it so let's just end this and uh, get back to my uh, my face so that was uh, diva m1 version on running on logic pro some uh, interesting results there with uh, the uh, buffer size um, not sure what to say about that uh, you saw it real time i had an external camera the one i'm filming here i just filmed the mac with that one i don't didn't have any software running in the background or anything uh, but uh, of course it uh, works just fine i uh, maybe when i produce my tracks maybe i have a maximum of let's say i don't know seven diva tracks and not all of those seven diva tracks is kind of playing all the time so um I think uh, this will go work uh, just fine. With that said, when I produce my tracks, I often just produce it on my desktop PC, my Windows PC. Uh, my Mac is mostly used for when I'm in the sofa or just doing some administrative things, answering emails, answering comments, things like that. But when I'm on travels, uh, if I'm away from home for maybe a week or so, I have it with me and I just use Logic sometimes to maybe create some melodies or something, start a track or something like that and maybe finish it when I get home. So uh, I'm not ready to jump to uh, Mac OS for my main system yet. You know, I occasionally I like to game and uh, well, 
Max are a little expensive for for that, but uh, yeah, I hope this video at least uh, helped you see how uh, how it works. And uh, I'm as I said earlier, I think uh, if you are going um, um, with a Mac for music production, even if you use the included software, I think it will work just fine. And it seems also like third parties are now getting their software updated and. Um, yeah, I have no uh, issues with seeing people having just a laptop for just music production. Uh, I see no problem with that. Uh, just go ahead and buy it. That's basically what I wanted to say. I hope you got something out of this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Click on all the things. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.